I have to put it mildly, in particular, Iran. You know, don't forget, with Iran, they were the sponsor of terror like nobody else was the sponsor of terror. And they were broke under the Trump administration because I put all sorts of sanctions on. I put all sorts of countries couldn't buy their oil or they couldn't do business in the United States. And all I wanted was one thing, one thing, because I wasn't looking to hurt them. I know many Iranian people. They're great people, very smart people. But I didn't want them to have a nuclear weapon. They can't have a nuclear weapon. Very simple ask. You can do whatever you want. You're going to be strong. You're going to get big and beautiful. Can't have a nuclear weapon and destroy the world. Can't have it. You can't have a nuclear weapon. The power of nuclear is so monumental. It's uh, You just can't let that happen. And it wasn't going to happen. And there was no Hezbollah that was getting money. They had no money. Hamas had no money. The terror groups, 28 different terror groups, had no money. Nobody had any money, and during the four years of the Trump administration, we had no terror. We had no wars against other countries, expensive, never-ending, stupid wars like we had under other presidents. I won't say which one, <laughs> including, including Republicans, including Republican presidents, right? Goes in, blows out the Middle East, blows up the Middle East comes back, you get nothing except death. You get death all over the place, death and hatred. Actually, they should like me more than any anybody ever, but you had no wars under Trump except I defeated ISIS, which had already begun. I defeated ISIS, took 100% of the ISIS caliphate, 100%. I was told it was going to take five years. I did it in four weeks. We have the greatest military in the world, but you have to understand, you can't be so politically correct. But we did it in four weeks. ISIS was gone, 100 percent of the ISIS caliphate. And some of you have had the story, but I don't have enough time to tell you the story because I have to be someplace else making the same damn speech in a little while. I'll tell you the story the next time. I promise. I'll tell you this story, Mike, the next time. Will you come up here, Mr. Senator? Come up here real fast. Come on. I got to get you up. This is a man who's going to be the, one of the best senators, toughest senator, and great for you. And I hear 